Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I have come on today to share with you this stacked envelope that uh, I've made. I was inspired by Nicola Mason, uh, who did a live in her Facebook group on creating one. And it had been years since I made one, and I've actually never made one like this. Um, several years ago when we used to make them, it was just like stacks of envelopes that had like a secret compartment in the middle. But these are all loaded. So it's very cool. It was so fun to make. And uh, thank you, Nicola, for the inspiration. Uh, Nicola Mason is my shabby craft corner. And I'll put a link to her channel below so you can go get inspired yourself. But uh, I asked a friend of mine if she wanted to swap for one of these. And she said yes. And I was very excited because we had actually, I don't think we've ever swapped before, although we have exchanged gifts. We've never uh, swapped before. And so I created this with her in mind and I broke out my tilde paper. Now I've been hoarding the tilde paper because I don't make tilde paper anymore. You can still get tilde fabric, thank goodness, but I can't get tilde paper. <clears throat> so I've just, I use it <laughs> very rarely because it's my favorite and I'm just gonna be sad when it's gone. Yes, so I broke out my, my tilde papers and I also printed some tilde images out to use throughout the um, stacked envelope. So as you can see, there's just yummy laces coming out everywhere. So I think I will just, I'll just start with the top. So I used uh, this tilde paper in the background, which is so super cute. Look at those pink stripes, I love them. This was the image I chose for the front. Aren't they cute? I don't know if my camera's gonna focus on them. They're adorable, little tilde dolls. And then, um, of course, tons of laces, a, a pretty little uh, pink butterfly applique. I've had this bear in my stash forever, and I decided this was the time. So she just wanted to sit on top. I made her a little dress out of this beautiful lace that I actually picked up at Hobby Lobby. I just love it. But this, this beautiful, beautiful bow came from Angel Dream Craft. Kim, uh, crafts came on Etsy and I will put a link to Kim's shop below because these are a must-have so I decided to sew that on instead of glue it so I've sewed that onto um, her little ear she's so cute and then I popped on some flowers that I've had in my stash for a very long time <clears throat> and I did tie it together because it's a little you know it's a little wonky because there's so much going on inside of here <laughs> I, I'm excited to show you but on the bottom I decided I wanted to use some feet and I just put this really cute polka dot uh, pink ribbon pink and gold ribbon around some wooden spools and I attached them to the bottom so it would sit up and I used just a bunch of, I just got into my snippet box because it's overflowing and just ridiculous and I just threw lace at this thing and I love I love it. I mean, everywhere you look is just beautiful. It's so, so pretty. So this just unties right here. I put this really pretty dainty ribbon that I had in my stash. Actually, I'm sure it was tied around a gift someone sent to me. And how did I make a knot? Leave it to me. <laughs> how did I make a knot right there? <clears throat> well, if I can get it open, I'll show you. All right, there. I see a light at the end of the tunnel. And I, of course, stickled everything as these stickles are shining in my face right now. Because everything should sparkle. So there's the front. Now this was interesting to put together. And in order to open all the things, you kind of have to lay it out like an accordion to get into all the bits. But it's just really cute. So the first side will pop open like this. So, upside down. Here is the first envelope and the second envelope. And I just kind of collaged on these. Look at this beautiful Tilda uh, doll. Isn't she gorgeous? And so I layered up some lace snippets, a little uh, rosette, and some Tilda paper in the background behind her. 
And on this side, these are punch outs from the tilde paper that I've stickled and I layered um, laces with it. So cute. And then I popped on this little bird from the paper. And then in this, I'm gonna have to open it up to get into it, I think. In this pocket, I made this little um, file folder, which is so stinking adorable. And um, where did I get this? I think this is my porch prints. And then I printed um, on the front on this one, I put dear friends, since God loved us that much, we surely ought to love each other. So I printed that on the front. And then I just used some scrap paper because I have lots of scrap paper and I sewed the scrap paper together, but then I tied it in with this really beautiful ribbon and I figured that way she could just, when she uses up the paper, she can take it out and put new paper in. And to the bow, I put this gorgeous little, I love this little heart charm from Angel Dream Crafts. It's so pretty. Oh, I just love it. So that is just dangling on the side, being beautiful. And then on the inside, I created some little um, collages out of the paper pad. And I, of course, stickled them. And on this side is a pocket with one of the little angel ballerinas from the paper pad. From one of the paper pads. I used several tilde pads uh, for this little thing so that goes in that top pocket and then you just kind of keep pulling it open to get to the second pocket over here well, this is actually the third envelope and I've done some collaging on this part and then I put this little uh, paper lace and tag stack with a little bow right there and in this in this envelope I think it's just so chock full it's so cute I put uh, this little tag that somebody had gifted to me and then I shared this beautiful lace it's so so pretty and then I popped on a bulb pin with this cute little bow I don't think Kim has any uh, of these bows right now but she does have some adorable blingy bows they're so cute and then this beautiful glassine envelope that somebody gifted to me and I put inside this little angel that I had printed out. So I thought she might like that. That goes in there. And these two just slide right in there. And I did put, I tried to layer up lace anywhere that I could. But I'm going to have to move some stuff if we're going to open this guy up. So, um... On the back of that envelope, I just put um, one of these tags because I thought she could journal right here if she wanted to. And then I put a, a snippet of a doily and a bow, and she could also write on this if she wanted to. And so let's open up the next part. Isn't that so cute? I had to move my camera up in order to get all of this in, so I feel I'm not getting as close as I would like to, but there's just all kinds of snippets of lace and paper, tilde paper, tilde dolls, and this beautiful lace right here is from Angel Dream Crafts. So pretty. And then in this pocket, I put this little um, brown bag and it is full of extra tilde bits. So a lot of the ephemera that I popped out of the paper pad, I put in here for her to enjoy. So I thought maybe she might like to have some of that. So that goes, actually I like, I like the bow peeking out the top. Yes, so cute, right? So cute. And then I just put a little rosette with a pretty little leaf applique and then on the closure of this envelope I just layered up some lace and some tilde paper and another piece of ephemera and then this is actually a piece of my uh, the vintage wedding dress I got from my aunt well my cousin sent it to me it was my aunt's it's so beautiful and I tea dyed it it's so pretty and then in this pocket 
is another one of these that I made. And in this one, it says, above all, keep loving one another earnestly, since love com covers a multitude of sins. Show hospitality to one another without grumbling, as each has received a gift. Use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's varied grace. Oh, just so sweet. So sweet. And this is, I think, another of my porch prints. And I did the same thing on the inside. Just added some paper. Here's the collage on that side. And the pocket on the other side with another one of the ballerina angels. Just so sweet. So that one goes in there. Okay, and then if you flip it over, you can get to the other pockets. So, okay, let me turn it. Let's see. I mean, this thing is an ordeal, <laughs> but it's so cool, right? It's just really, really cool. So I will start over here with this one. So there's just layers of lace. This adorable Tilda doll. I got these off of Pinterest. So cute. And then in this pocket is um, a card that I actually made with digitals from a Trace of Sparkle and this bow from Angel Dream Crafts. And I wrote her a sweet little note. And this is a song. It's one of my favorite songs and it's called The Words I Would Say. And I just wanted to send that to her. So that is in there. And then another piece of ephemera. And I might, I'm thinking about doing some more stickling because I feel like that should be stickled. <laughs> and this is my favorite Tilda doll image. I use it all the time. Um, I just love it. So I used that right there for her with some Tilda paper and some lace in the background and a shabby little flower right here. And then this one, this one has three different prayers that I found on the internet and that I printed out for her. So that little tag says prayers and this is another little tilde tag from the paper line and a piece of lace tied together with some really shabby pink um, eyelash, uh, eyelash yarn. Is that what it's called? I don't know. Anyway, that just tucks in there, so super cute. And then here is the one on this side. Isn't that sweet? Oh, that's from the Tilda um, paper. And that's the doll on that one. So it was very complicated for me to figure out how to get this put together so that I could open it up and fill all the <laughs> pockets. like. I don't know, Nicola made it seem so easy. I struggled, but I love the outcome. It was worth every effort I put into it because it's absolutely adorable and it's just a treasure. And I hope that my friend loves it because I loved creating it for her. So I would love to know what you think. Please leave me a comment below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and you will find a link to uh, Nicola's channel and to Angel Dream Crafts, Kim on Etsy below in my description box and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye everybody.